Well, Helen, first of all, uh, obviously the reason we're all talking um, today is that um, because of this interview in America. Did you give this interview? No, I haven't given an interview to anybody in America. I was approached last week, I had a phone call from an international reporter who asked me about this incident. I passed him on to my agent because I don't deal with anybody like that anyway. Um, and I said I wasn't interested, whether that's for paid work or whatever, I'm not interested in giving the interview. And then it's just later all unravelled and just spiralled out of control. Mm. Well, you're not interested, obviously. He's not interested in being involved in all of this. Um, where does this go from here? Well, I'm not too sure. My opinion is the whole injunction, it's six years on. I can't believe I'm sat here six years on talking about something that happened six years ago. The injunction was meant to stop this from happening in the first place, but in fact, it's probably caused more problems. It, it, unless it's a global decision, what is the point in the injunction? It's caused more damage than good. Um, and when so you're it, saying he should have maybe come clean at the time? I don't think he should have come clean. It. No, because obviously this is what I'm here for today. Like, I massively regret the comments that I've, I've made on a backhanded interview that I did years ago. When the first incident came out, um, through no fault of my own, um, I spoke out about this and I made some really idiotic comments that, you know, I've, I've, I've seen in the paper this week, which, you know, I'm, I am embarrassed about. And Were these the details? Uh, yeah, I have, I have said some of it. Some, but it was prompted. I had I, the, the main common dom, den, uh, denominator in all of this is Max Clifford. He was the one who, you know, I was prompted to do certain things. I was asked certain things. I'm not blaming anybody else, really, but there's one person that's rubbing his hands in all of this that's come out with a hell of a lot of money from it, and that's him. Well, obviously, he can't come on, on that. Cause no, he can't. But he was advising you at the time, was saying. I was advised badly. I, was, I said some stupid things through being prompted, which I should have known better, but when I was a lot younger When you say stupid then. things, do you mean the untrue? comments that I've do said. You mean, do you mean things were untrue? Or yeah, you... some, of, some of the things have completely been made to, you know, sound a lot worse than what they are. So I've read some of the comments that I've made about this person. Like what? Like what? Just, you know, I was asked, they were like, oh, is it, was he not a disgusting kisser? Was he not this? Was he not that? And I've answered them, and I shouldn't have done that, but I just didn't think at the time, um, you know, how bad it had looked. And, you know, to read it back now, it is, it is shameful that I've said those things about him. Well... Uh, somebody would say here, if you want a private life, this is Jill. Thank you, Jill, for your comments. Keep the comments coming in. If you want a private life, don't put yourself in the public eye. You can't have your cake and eat it. Now, that could apply to him. It could apply to you as well, because you've done quite well in the public eye yeah. um, since, since all of this. And people might say, look, Helen, you can't have it both ways. You're trading on the back of this. Who is Helen Wood today? What does Helen Wood want to be? Just... I'm just quite happy living a normal life. I've, you know, I've set up myself. I, I work self-employed in the beauty industry. I'm quite happy doing that. I'm also not going to sit here and say that I'd never, you know, I wouldn't turn away other kinds of work in the media. Of course I would. The point is, this, I'm not bothered about being in the public eye for, for like, so long as it's for the right reasons. The point is, we're sat here talking about something that happened six years ago, and I just don't understand why, why it's been dragged Helen, up again. You're in the public eye initially because of the, the Wayne Rooney sex scandal. Yeah. So, you know, that's the reason you're in the public eye. So, and, and you kind of traded off I think that it's just because, it, because of the injunction. I just think, yeah. why? If you can't is talk it, about him, mm. why are we talking about me? It doesn't really mm. make much sense. Well, why can we talk about one and not the other? One of the reasons it makes sense is that newspapers want to sell yeah. newspapers and they are really worried that if these injunctions become more and more commonplace or lead to other things they won't be able to reveal well, all the papers, things that yeah. they they want to do now the man involved in all of this has he ever been in touch with you again in that six years i've spoken to his i've just spoken to his barrister and that was like six years ago um, and i actually said to her why on earth has he got this injunction out I don't understand why he's done it. I, I do get why he's done it because he obviously was a bit spooked and thought that maybe I might sell a story and things like that, but he needn't have bothered yeah. because I wouldn't have done that. The press play with this man like a cat plays with a woolen ball, so it does. Whether people know it or not, his picture and his face, his name, appears regularly in the press uh, with, with stories that are unrelated, but it's about teasing him, uh, teasing perhaps his family as well. We yeah. know it's you, even though they can't name him. How do you feel about 
his family. Do you think? I mean, do you think his wife knows? Because lots I of people, know. lots of people read about him day in day out, and they have no idea what these stories are referring to. I have absolutely no idea if she knows. I haven't got a clue. I think when I first heard about it, I was working in Dublin this week, so I didn't really hear that much about it. Then when I did. You know, I did kind of... I actually got upset when I was on the phone to my agent. I got upset because now I'm a bit older. I have a 12-year-old. I know he has children, which I didn't know at the time as well. Um, and I did feel... I do feel bad. I do feel bad for them that, you know, if they are, if, if they are aware what of this. You, what do you think about him having an injunction? You're, you're named. Your name is bandied about. Here you are sitting, you know, defending yourself again. What do you feel about injunctions? Do you think he should be allowed to have that? For some reason, I actually don't... It, I think he was advised badly, personally. I know he was ad advised badly because we were being represented by the same person and I wasn't aware of that at the time. Um, I just... I don't, for some, I, I don't like hold anything against him. I don't. I think he should. He, I think he deserves to just carry on with his life. And if he has got an injunction, it was a complete waste of time. It was a complete waste of time anyway, because it's drawn even more negativity to, towards him. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. And how are you now? Because you've had your own, you know, sort of personal um, adventure. Uh, yeah, two years ago I had breast cancer, which was, which was a huge shock. And it was a challenging year, there's no doubt about it, it was challenging. But I feel now, I'm two years on, I was 50 a couple of weeks ago, and I feel so blessed that I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm fit, my life hasn't been compromised, and I'm, I'm feeling great. 